Let's go live now to King 5's Ted Land. He's in Capitol Hill in the neighborhood here in Seattle, where hundreds of people have once again shown up to protest. Ted, what's going on where you are? Hi, Mark. Mark, another night, another big crowd here on Capitol Hill. It's peaceful. It's energetic. There are hundreds of people packing into the field here at Cal Anderson Park and beyond that uh, over on Pine Street near the SPD precinct. Another large group over there gathering on the other side of the barricade where police are again. Uh, peaceful, energetic. Uh, it's kind of like a block party atmosphere. There's music, there's food, there's dancing. Even saw somebody giving out free massages nearby. So uh, a lot going on here. But the the what's happening this this weekend with what we're seeing is efforts to turn this momentum, these messages into something that can enact real change. You can see the size of the crowd from some video we shot earlier um, as they were up up near the the intersection. And what they want to do is is take all of the energy that they have uh, uh, among this gathering, many of them young people, and turn that into something meaningful. Uh, so we, we're over talking to some people who are getting people registered to vote. There's a lot of young people here who actually haven't done that in, in the past, and, and this is that catalyst that's getting them to register and then to vote in the fall. One guy uh, who, who, told, who was gathering these signatures told me he, he had a 35-year-old man walk up and say, hey, I, I just haven't been registered to vote. I haven't voted before. This is the time I want to do that. I spoke with one of the volunteers getting people registered. Here's what they told me. We've had small wins here and there, but uh, you know it's definitely going to happen with actual voting and getting the proper people in place uh, to actually push legislation into our government to you know protect the people and to make sure that things like this don't happen to anybody ever again. Yeah. You know, most nights we see a march uh, leaving from uh, Capitol Hill to go throughout the city. We did see a, a smaller group break off about 30 minutes ago and start marching through the city. Earlier, a much bigger group arrived from downtown, but it seems like this is where everybody will be camped out, at least for the evening. Live on Capitol Hill, Ted Lamb, King 5 News. Ted, thank you. Meantime, thousands of health care workers marched through the streets of Seattle today, showing their support for the Black Lives Matter movement. They started at Harborview Medical Center and went downtown to City Hall on 4th Avenue. We asked one health care worker about staying safe during the protests. The demonstration today was very peaceful. People were respectful. People were keeping space. There were people that had hand sanitizer just everywhere, you know, offering it up. Um, and so I think it's an important health concern, but, um, but we were doing our best to try to stay as safe as possible. And this issue is important and it needs to be addressed and talked about and publicized. The event today called White Coats for Black Lives marks the ninth day of protests here in Western Washington. We want to spotlight what you said about today's march. Lynn Harris posted on the King 5 Facebook page saying, quote, thank you. Healthcare workers aren't only saving lives, but standing up as well. Here's another one from the Facebook from a Facebook user. They said, quote, this makes me so proud to be American, to see brothers and sisters marching, showing support.